Hey hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here on this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful drawing community. In this video, we are going to learn how to show age in cartoon faces. So grab your drawing tools and let's get started. So just a quick note, this video is not necessarily about how to draw cartoon characters. I have another video for that, you can definitely check it out. But here I'm really going to give you some tips to age your characters, no matter the style that you draw in. So just keep that in mind and yeah, let's, let's get started. So let's start by looking at the basic face and head structure for the baby. And we're going to start building all of our different faces and heads with the cranium, so just a simple circle. And we're also going to show the direction the face is facing <laughs> by drawing a plus sign just like this. And at this point, usually we would be drawing the jaw, but for babies, honestly, you can just kind of add cheeks on your cranium and that should pretty much be all you need. And that's probably the most important thing to keep in mind when you're drawing babies is that the head is just super round. And honestly, most of the features are also going to be round. So let's say we go ahead and add the eyes. They're usually going to be super big, super round, and just way too cute overall. And it's gonna be the same thing for the nose. You wanna keep it simple, round, and cute. And in general, the facial features are going to be kind of squished in the bottom third of the face. So they're going to be all condensed together um, and fairly small except for the eyes. I recommend that you do draw some eyebrows, but it's pretty much just so they can show the emotion of the baby, so the eyebrows should be very, very small and delicate. You might also want to put some emphasis on the cheeks again, because that's a big part of a baby's face. It's pretty much all cheeks and eyes. <laughs> now let's look at a few elements that we can use to differentiate between a baby boy and a baby girl. In general, both are gonna have very smooth, shiny skin, so I personally like to kind of draw just a little bit of light on the nose and the cheeks. And you can also add some small lashes on your baby girl to make it a bit more of a feminine. You can also add some very simple hair, not too much, obviously it's a baby. And you can also add some accessories like bows and cute little hats to maybe help give your characters a little bit more personality, although they are infants. <laughs> So just like for the baby, the kid's face is going to start with the circle of the cranium and also with the little plus sign that you're going to draw in the center just to kind of map out the direction of uh, the face, basically. But now this time, as opposed to the baby, we're going to see that the jaw comes down a little bit from the cranium. And I say jaw, but at this point it's still mostly cheek, so it's still mostly soft and round shapes. But extending the head, making it a bit longer, is definitely going to help you distinguish your characters that would be more like babies and toddlers, and your characters that are a bit more like kids. The eyes are still super big, really round, really cute. And it's gonna look like they're a little bit higher on the face, but that's really just because we extended the jaw downwards. And if you were to compare to the baby, you would notice that the eyes are pretty much exactly in the same position in regards to the cranium. And the facial features still tend to be fairly small, cute, and round, but this time instead of being squished in the bottom third of the face, they're kind of more in the bottom half. The ears are still going to be fairly simple shapes and they will be probably smaller than your eyes. As for the eyebrows, again, you just want to have them so you can play with the expressions, but they're still not super important in terms of adding bulk to the facial features. Now let's take this face structure and try to adapt it for a more masculine and a more feminine character. Just like for the baby, you can add very small lashes to your more feminine characters. That's a really easy trick. And this time now you also have hairstyles that you can play with. Usually kids' hairstyles tend to be a little bit more crazy or extravagant, so either super wild or super cute with big bows and stuff like that. And just like for babies, the skin on kids tend to be really smooth, so I personally just add a few little lights and call it a day. Okay, so things are about to get real interesting real quick because we're now looking at the teens. And so much happens on the teen's face. Again, we're still starting with just the regular cranium and the plus sign thingy. 
but this time we're gonna have a real jaw. So it's not just about cute round cheeks anymore, we actually have the jawbone that comes out and creates a real jaw. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later in this section, but you can really create different characters just by changing their jawline. So don't be afraid to experiment here with different shapes, more square, more oval, more round jaws. And we're moving away from the land of cute here, which means the eyes are probably going to be a little bit smaller and not quite as round. You might also see some lines appear to kind of mark the eyelids. In general, this is where you want to start having features that are a bit more precise and defined. So you'll probably want to experiment with the shape of the nose and get something with a lot of personality. In general, the features are going to be a little bit more spread out than for the kids, and the ears are going to get longer, so not quite as round anymore, you get more of a regular ear shape. At this stage, you also want to give your characters real eyebrows, so it's not just about showing emotions anymore, it's really just an important part of the face. And now that we have a real jawline, we can play with that when we're creating more masculine and more feminine characters. So in general, again, that is just in general, it doesn't mean that it's true for everyone, but in general, masculine characters tend to have broader jawlines that are a bit more defined and more sharp, and feminine characters tend to have either more pointy or more round jawlines. That is not always true, but that is something that you can play with now that we have real jaws, so that's cool. You can also start adding some makeup to your characters. And I find that with teens, it's usually either like very minimal makeup or makeup that is just over the top. And that's kind of something you're gonna find with teens in general is you can really take things and make them extreme. So clothing, makeup, hairstyle, you can really play with that and bring it like to the complete extreme of craziness or extravagantness. That's <laughs> not a word, but <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying. Basically, teens are really, um, they're usually experimenting and they don't have a style that is quite fixed yet. So you can just play with that and have a whole lot of fun yourself as a creator. Another thing that you can have fun with is acne. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to say, like that's not a sentence I ever thought I would say, but adding acne to your characters, although it sucks in real life, can really add a lot of, well, life to your drawing. You can also add some stubbles on your more masculine characters and yeah, just, just have fun and make your characters quirky at this, this stage of life. Okay, so for the adults, we're not going to start by building the structure anymore because it's pretty much exactly the same as for teenagers. Maybe just longer face and sharper features, but there's nothing drastically different in the structure here. You might also want to make the eyes slightly smaller and again playing with the eyelid here as well. A really good tip is, at least for masculine characters, um, adding some facial hair. And even if you don't want to go with a full mustache or a full beard, adding at least this kind of a five o'clock shadow situation is really going to help. In terms of hairstyle, you're probably going to want to go with something a little bit more classic and also shorter hair, at least for women, uh, just because it gets harder to grow longer hair the older you get. It's also harder to keep your hair on your head the older you get, so think of the hairline, you might get some receding hairline, especially in men. And depending on how old your adult is, how old your character is, you might want to add some gray roots here and there and maybe even some full gray strands. And probably the most important thing is to start adding some lines and wrinkles. So you're gonna have something around the eyes for sure, around the mouth, probably around the brows, maybe as well around the forehead, just kind of the main general fine lines and wrinkles are gonna appear here and that's what's going to make the biggest difference. You need to be careful though because adding lines and wrinkles can make your character look tired. <laughs> so it's a fine line, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, figuring out how to make them look older without making them look tired or sad or depressed. And here we are, we made it to the elders. And for the elders, really the keyword is gravity. <laughs> Because the structure of the face, again, is the same, but everything is pulled down. So the skin has lived a long life. It is not as elastic anymore. It's not as plump anymore. So it's going to be sagging towards the ground and you're gonna see a little bit more of the bone structure kind of uh, poking through. 
So things like the eyelids, the nose, the ears, they're all going to start drooping down. Um, and if you're drawing a character that has a neck, uh, all the, the chin area and neck area as well. And at this stage, you're going to start seeing some really intense lines and wrinkles pretty much everywhere. So around the eyes, around the chin, on the forehead, around the eyebrows, between the eyes, like just everywhere you can think of muscles interacting with skins to create folds when you have an emotion, you would add a line or a wrinkle there. And at this point, your character is probably going to be balding or is going to have a head of white or gray hair. And that also includes, don't forget, the facial hair and the eyebrows. And you can also go ahead and add some darker spots on the skin. I think that's kind of the ice cream on the sundae. No, that's not the saying. The cherry on the sundae or the cherry on the ice cream, whatever. <laughs> that's really the nicest final touch I think you can do for your elder characters. Just kind of adding this texture on the skin. So there you go, now you know how to age your cartoon characters. If you've watched this far in the video, please go ahead and comment the words circle of life. And while you're down there in the comments, please give this video a like because it really does help the channel and the algorithm and all those things. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week. I'll see you soon.